The Lapiths are a legendary people of Greek mythology, whose home was in Thessaly, in the valley of the Peneus and on the mountain Pelion. They were an Aeolian tribe. Like the Myrmidons and other Thessalian tribes, the Lapiths were pre-Hellenic in their origins. The genealogies make them a kindred people with the centaurs. In one version, Lapiths and Centaurus were said to be twin sons of the god Apollo and the nymph Still, daughter of the river god Peneus. Lapiths was a valiant warrior, but Centaurus was a deformed being who later mated with mares from whom the race of half-man, half-horse centaurs then came. Lapiths was the eponymous ancestor of the Lapith people, and his descendants include Lapith warriors and kings, such as Ixion, Pirit House, Caneus, and Coronus, and the seers Idemon and Mopsis. In the Iliad the Lapiths sent 40 manned ships to join the Greek fleet in the Trojan War, commanded by Polyputes and Leonters, the mother of Pyrrhid House, the Lapith king in the generation before the Trojan War, was Dia, daughter of Ioneus or Dionysus. Ixion was the father of Pyrrhid House, but like many heroic figures, Pyrrhid House had an immortal as well as a mortal father. Zeus was his immortal father, but the god had to assume a stallion's form to cover deer for, like their half-horse cousins. The Lapiths were horsemen in the grasslands of Thessaly, famous for its horses. The Lapiths were credited with inventing the bridle's bit. In fiction, the Lapith king Pyrrhid House was marrying the horsewoman Hippodamia, tamer of horses, at the wedding feast that made a battle. The Centaurumachi, famous. Centaurumachi. The best-known legend with which the Lapiths are connected is their battle with the centaurs at the wedding feast of Pirit House, the Centaurumachi. The centaurs had been invited, but, unused to wine, their wild nature came to the fore. When the bride was presented to greet the guests, the centaur Eurition leapt up and attempted to rape her. All the other centaurs were up in a moment, straddling women and boys. In the battle that ensued, Theseus came to the Lapith's aid. They cut off Eurition's ears and nose and threw him out. In the battle the Lapith Caneus was killed, and the defeated centaurs were expelled from Thessaly to the northwest. Caneus was a well-known Lapith, originally a girl named Cenus and the favorite of Poseidon, who changed her into a man at her request and made her an invulnerable warrior. Such warrior women, indistinguishable from men, were familiar among the Scythian horsemen too. In the centaur battle Caneus proved invulnerable, until the centaurs simply crushed him with rocks and trunks of trees. He disappeared into the depths of the earth unharmed and was released as a sandy-headed bird. In later contests, the centaurs were not so easily beaten. Mythic references explained the presence into historic times of primitive lap of sin Meliarum in the brigand stronghold of Foloi in Elysis, remnants of groups driven there by the centaurs. Some historic Greek cities bore names connected with Lapiths, and the Kypsilides of Corinth claimed descent from Caeneus, while the Phylades of Attica claimed for progenitor Coronus the Lapith. As Greek myth became more mediated through philosophy, the battle between Lapiths and centaurs took on aspects of the interior struggle between civilized and wild behavior, made concrete in the Lapiths' understanding of the right usage of God-given wine, which must be tempered with water and drunk not to excess. The Greek sculptors of the school of Theodias conceived of the battle of the Lapiths and centaurs as a struggle between mankind and mischievous monsters and symbolical of the great conflict between the civilized Greeks and Persian barbarians. Battles between Lapiths and centaurs were depicted in the sculptured friezes on the Parthenon, recalling Athenian Theseus a treaty of mutual admiration with Pyrrhid House the Lapith, leader of the Magnetes, and on Zeus a temple at Olympia. The Battle of the Lapiths and Centaurs was a familiar symposium theme for the vase painters. A sonnet vividly evoking the battle by the French poet José Maria de Heredia was included in his volume Les Trophées. In the Renaissance, the battle became a favorite theme for artists. An excuse to display close-packed bodies in violent confrontation, the young Michelangelo executed a marble bar relief of the subject in Florence about 1492. 
Piero di Carzimo's panel Battle of Centaurs and Lapiths, now at the National Gallery, London, was painted during the following decade. If it was originally part of a marriage chest, or cassin, it was perhaps an uneasy subject for a festive wedding commemoration. A frieze with a centaurum a key was also painted by Luca Signorelli in his Virgin Enthroned with Saints. Inspired by a Roman sarcophagus found at Cortona, in Tuscany, during the early 15th century, 